back to TV3 New Day and we're on till 10 a.m. Now, if you've been buying gas at a ridiculous amount and you've been blaming the retailers for being the reason why the prices are up, well, their hands are tied, especially after the introduction of about 23% tax on LPG in the country. And they have been asking government to take off that nuisance tax uh, just so that they can also reduce the prices and also make some uh, profit here and there. But unfortunately, that has fallen on deaf ears as at uh, the middle of this year when the finance minister was reading the mid-year review uh, of the budgets, you know, they were hoping that the tax would be reduced. But actually, there was a bit of an increase on that as well. And so since then till now, they've been asking for government to take off what they describe as nuisance tax. And today, I'll be speaking to the vice chairman of the LPG Marketing Companies Association of Ghana, Mr. Gabi Kumi, who is here to again reiterate the need uh, for the taxes to be taken off. So thank you so much for joining me and good morning Thank you. now as it stands currently we have about 23 percent taxes on the lpg i want you to give me just a background uh information on how we arrived at this 23 percent what was it before and what led to the increase thank you very much my sister and good morning to your viewers good um i think a bit of history will help yes i mean lpg was introduced in this country in the 60s and the 70s mm. at that time the product was being subsidized yeah but we subsidized the product for quite some time, mm. so consumption started growing. Okay. We got to a point that government said that uh, the subsidy was becoming too much mm. for government to bear. Okay. So it can no longer subsidize. So all the subsidies were re removed, and we went full cost recovery. Mm. So we did that till around 2014, 2015. Okay. When crude oil prices dropped so low to about 30, 32 dollars per barrel. Mm. We think that was a good time for government to really push the use of LPG in Ghana because yeah. we should have been buying LPG at a very, very, very low rate. Mm. But unfortunately, government at the time took advantage of the situation, heaped a lot of taxes on the product. Rather. Yes. And what has happened is that the taxes has remained very constant okay. while crude oil price keep moving up. Mm -hmm. And this has shot up the pump price mm. to the height that the ordinary consumer is no longer able to afford. Wow. Uh, statistically, if you look at the growth of consumption of LPG, if you take 2006 mm -hmm. to 2015, within a period of 10 years, LPG was growing at an average rate of 16.16% okay. per annum. Okay. Uh, the only time we had a negative growth was, was, was in 2013, mm. but that was as a result of the fact that we had have, we have supply challenges. Okay. You know, mm. the, you know, at that time, LPG was purely imported. And yeah and supplies were not coming in. But apart from that time, LPG consumption has been growing. It's been growing. But if okay. you fast forward it, after the task has, has, has been introduced in 2015, mm -hmm. and crude oil prices started rising, if you take it from 2016 to present, mm -hmm. LPG consumption has been relatively very stagnant. Okay, and that's the no result of the increase in increase the Increase in the price of the product. Okay. If you look around 2015, we were buying an average, the average 14 kg mm -hmm. household size. We were buying it at about 40 cities. 40, 45. For, exactly. Yes. But currently, we are buying that at, 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 at 80 cities. Which is expensive. Extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. We are looking at uh, an average income of the ordinary Ghanaian, which is 300, 400, 500 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. And you're asking him to use 20 or 25 percent of that income to buy, to buy just LPG. Yeah. We feel that is too bad. We mm. feel that is too strong. We feel that is too high for the ordinary consumer to, yeah. to afford. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the benefits this country stand to gain. Mm -hmm. You know, government has set up an objective to increase consumption and penetration of LPG from the current 25% okay. to 50% by the year 2030. Mm -hmm. But we believe government is acting against its own objective. Because yeah. LPG is a product with an elastic demand. What that means is that if you raise the price, you disenfranchise a lot of people, yeah. you push away a lot of people from consuming it. Okay. But the only way you can push up demand is the lower prices. Yeah. So you attract a lot of people into the consumption net. So your own objective of increasing access 
from 25% to 50% could be achieved. Yeah, but we see government acting now. contrary to that. But you, you have been speaking on this issue since, what, 2015? Yes. All through till now. Even yeah. this year, you were hammering on it. Just around the time when CST was, uh, you know, the 9% you know, increase happened, there was increment in electricity and water. Around that same time as well, there was also a discussion on these nuisance taxes because there was an alert that there could be another increase mm -hmm. um, in LPG. And yeah. that's when, you know, the marketers came out again and said, well, we are already paying too much on tax. That's right. We were hoping that governments would have responded to your claims by now. Why yeah. have they not? You know, before the mid-year review, we had called for a complete removal of taxes from LPG. Complete? We, complete removal. Okay. We want government to single out a, a product called LPG, mm -hmm. remove all taxes from it, because we believe the benefit that this country stands to gain mm. by increasing access and penetration of LPG far more outweigh the benefit these taxes are giving us. Okay. We are destroying our environment. Yesterday, or two, was it yesterday I watched a, a, a program on your network mm -hmm. on charcoal yeah and 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 and, and my heart's uh, really lost a bit mm -hmm. if you look at the destruction we are causing to, uh, to 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 our trees and to our environment yeah and it's said that when the last tree dies the, the last, last man dies. dies and we believe lpg is a fuel of choice now okay globally consumption of lpg is on the rise but unfortunately in ghana the consumption is stagnant because of high prices. Mm -hmm. And even if you look at the, our, our neighbors, the West Africa sub-region, Ghana's LPG price is the highest. Okay. Even Burkina Faso, who comes to Ghana to lift the LPG, is not, not charging anywhere near what Ghana what is charging. What we are charging. So we believe that it's time for government to remove all the nuisance taxes. Hmm. The taxes on the LPG are nuisance taxes. Our Why finance do minister. Call them nuisance taxes? Because they are, they are a nuisance point. to consumption of LPG. They impede the consumption of LPG. They are destroying our environment. They are destroying Mother Ghana. Mm. Those taxes. Okay. Because, look, finance minister, when he came to office, removed a lot of taxes and described them as nuisance. Mm. And you we think believe that, this is also that one major nuisance tax that escaped his lenses is the taxes on the LPG. Okay. And it's about time he immediately, and as a matter of agency, look at taxes on the LPG. We, we demand a complete removal. <coughs> complete? A complete. They should, a LPD should be, should be tax free because of the enormous benefit that this country stands to gain by pushing up consumption of LPG. Okay, when you talk about enormous consumption uh, benefits, I'm guessing that you're talking about the increment from 25% to 50% of people using it as well. That's what right. could be some of the other benefits? Someone might be asking, you're asking them to take the taxes off. How does it benefit us? Because it looks like then it benefits only the marketers and the retailers. But then what about everybody else? You see, uh, 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 one, it makes it more affordable mm -hmm. for the ordinary Ghanaian yeah. to use. Because if you look at consumption of LPG, you are, the, the real consumers of LPG currently are the upper middle income upwards. Yeah. The lower middle income up downwards are not able to, to afford, afford the product. It. Yeah. And that is the critical mass that we need to support this government objective of increasing assets from 25% to 50%. Okay. I mean, if you look at our environment... Which you touched on earlier. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our environment is, 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 is fast depleting. Yeah. Our forest is going. And I, I watch a documentary which says that Ghana's forest is one of the fastest depleting, depleting. In, in, yeah. in terms of depletion. Okay. So we believe that this country has a lot to gain. Mm. But you see, in... in if, if, if we didn't have anything to gain, government will not set itself a target to double to consumption double. in the next 10 yeah. years. Yeah. But government cannot eat its cake and have it. Mm. You can't expect to increase prices of the product and as, mm. at the same time you expect to achieve uh, double in, in, in consumption Definitely. in 10 years. Th those, those two will not work together. There was a stakeholders um, you know, forum that held in Sunyani. Uh, for the cylinder recirculation model. And there was something that the minister for Bono mentioned, that out of about 75 um, you know, retailers in three regions, that's Bono, Bono East, and Ahafo region, about 63 of them were prone to explosion. And so that needed to be checked. And we're talking about LPG here. A lot of people are worried about the safety measures that have been put in place in order to ensure that such um, you know, disasters are averted, especially after the June 3rd disaster that we all witnessed. Uh, we're still suffering from the debilitating effects of, of that as well. And so we're asking that, okay, we want more people to consume it, but we're more worried about the safety 
you know, of that as well. Yeah. And also about the recirculation. I don't want you to touch on that because you're also asking for a halt um, in the process as well. So touch on these two for me before we wrap up. Thank you very much. I mean, with, 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 with the safety aspect, I mean, we are also very much concerned with safety. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are the people who are directly involved in, 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 in the operations of these outlets. We have our family members, our yeah. children, our brothers and sisters all working there. So safety is quite uh, key to okay. us. But you know, the, 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 the issue is it's a systemic problem okay. that, that, that we have all created. So we need cool heads to look at it and look at how to fix it. Mm. The, the, the explosions, the, the, the causes of these explosions have been identified. Yeah. They've been identified mm -hmm. and our authorities know what it's, these causes are. If you identify a pro the causes of a, a problem, I think the next step is to find solutions to yeah. them. Is there uh, any step towards that? Oh, yes. I mean, okay. we, 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 if you go to the LPG stations, uh, now we have really improved on the safety standards. I okay. mean, MPA is always on our neck, yeah. do this, do that, do that. And they've been working very hard at it. And okay. we've really up the standard. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you look at the causes of the explosion, one of the major causes was during discharge, discharging, using the engine of the truck to discharge into the station yeah. tank. And now we've stopped that. We've got an independent electronic discharge pumps mm -hmm. in, all our, in almost all our stations okay. that does the discharge. Right. So we believe that this and other measures will go a long way to slow down the, the, okay. the, the accidents and incidents we are having on the stations. Okay. Now about the recirculation, why you're asking for them to halt the um, first phase? Yes, um, the MPA intends introducing, it, it, the, in piloting yeah. the, the, the recirculation in, 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 in October. Yes. That was the, 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 the target date uh, month. But unfortunately, October is fast spent and we believe that Industry is not even ready. Infrastructurally, we are, we are not uh, ready, ready to, to, to take off. So okay. we want them to have deeper consultations, mm -hmm. to put the necessary infrastructure in place, to ensure that the current guys, the current players who have built the industry for the past 25 years are properly and adequately catered for. Okay. Because um, take it or leave it, this industry has been built by indigenous Ghanaians through no support of government. Mm -hmm. So if you are coming now with a new policy, it's just fair that you make sure that they are adequately and properly take, taken care of. Okay. You make sure that you use the current labor force that we have in the industry, mm. you streamline it, use it fully. Okay. Before we talk about uh, incre increment in, in, in the labor in force the in the labor sector. Force and all that. Because okay. we believe the consumption at this moment cannot even as absorb additional labor force. Okay. We can talk about additional labor force when we are able to grow consumption to a certain height. All right. All right. Well, uh, that's all time we'll allow for this conversation. Mr. Gabi Kumi is the vice chairman, LPG Marketing Companies Association of Ghana. Quick one. So let's just say that government refuses to scrap the complete tax and they want to reduce it to a certain amount. What would be okay for you? Uh, what would be okay? In fact, we, are, we may even call government to even look at ways of even subsidizing the product for the Aurora folks. Ah, okay. So we are we are stopping <laughs> at nothing, but we need a complete removal of all taxes. Complete from, removal from, is what they are asking. All the for. nuisance taxes must go. All right. Thank and you so much. I'm sure next month government is going to do a, a next year budget. We are uh, waiting to listen and to And we what will they be waiting patiently. We'll be at Parliament House to, mm. to listen to our honorable finance minister saying that mm. all taxes on the LPG, the almost twenty five percent taxes on LPG have, been, have scrapped. been scrapped. Well, fingers crossed. Let's see how that goes. But you're still watching TV3 New Day.